Landsat estimations put it at 185,000 once the dust is settled. Right, that's an 185,000 deaths. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes, that's what the um, that's what the one of the leading peer-reviewed medical journals concluded as a. Yeah, actually, it's 186,000. They concluded was what they called a conservative estimate. But yeah, I mean, that's just a peer-reviewed medical journal that is one of the highest impact journals in the world. And on the other side, we got Destiny, a guy who thinks that chauvinism is named after Derek Chauvin. Hey, Chief. Maybe it's five million deaths, bro. Who knows? An estimate? That is not what it, the, the actual... Yeah, like, I mean, this is all he's doing here. All he's doing is just repeating shit. He isn't actually... It, he's not actually challenging it in any serious way because he hasn't got anything. So all he's doing, I mean, he's literally, he's making his money right now on this particular stream. I mean, not right now, at the time relative to the stream, by just deliberately casting doubt on the number of people killed in an ongoing genocide that the U.S. is in control of. Number is, please. It is the way the Lancet came out with estimate. that estimate is pretty fucking retarded, too. If I, and the way that they extrapolated that, I have to go back and check. I just I headlined this and scammed it, but it looked like... Oh, wow. Oh, is he, he's literally going to try to... Destiny, a guy who literally does not seem to know anything, is, it has problems with what, how a leading peer-reviewed publication arise, arrives at fucking mortality estimates. That's, that's great that they had arrived at that estimate was literally fucking retarded. Um, man, The Lancet has posted some major fucking L's. Uh, They're L's because they actually don't look good for Destiny. They posted that, uh, the Bernie Sanders single health payer analysis, too. I think that was... Yeah, uh, so, it, see, it's an, it sits at an L because it contradicts what Destiny would like his audience to believe posted in the lancet i think that was a dog shit fucking article as well and i think the lancet posted the uh, vaccine causes autism shit a long time ago too uh, or that was that nature i think that was the lancet yeah and then they retracted it <coughs> did they retract any of the articles that you just cited that are totally uncontroversial yeah the guy faked the study it actually there was an investigation and they ended up retracting it after it be, you know, became clear that he faked the study. The only reason it made it through peer review is because he falsified his data. And they do not, uh, you know, they do not assume that somebody who's publishing to their journals is going to be falsifying their data without evidence that that's happening. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, that's all he's doing. And now he's like, okay, now he's going to slag off the Lancet, because the Lancet po is, publishes things that contradict his beliefs. But, Jesus, anyway. 185,000 once the dust is settled. Right, that's an estimate? That is not what it, the, the actual number is, please. It is a conservative estimate. Because Yeah, that is exactly what the Lancet says. It hasn't just killed 40,000 Palestinians. They've also destroyed the entirety of the Gaza Strip. Like, the entirety of the Gaza Strip. Okay? Numbers on a board. Civilian versus enemy combatant per capita targeting. Why was the healthcare thing bad? Um, uh, because Destiny doesn't believe, doesn't like it. Conservative estimate, yeah. That's, that's actually a massive extrapolation, completely. Uh, you don't, he doesn't know what an extrapolation is. An extrapolation can also be a conservative estimate. And so, oh God, this fuck, this cool hidden kumquat goes, 185,000, not too bad, honestly, for a war, out of 2 million people. Out of 2 million people in less than a year. I mean, that, yeah, that's 9% of the fucking population, and that's a conservative estimate. The unknown. Hey, hell, uh, the They just extrapolated that out. The, the yeah, of course they fucking extrapolated their entire sophisticated statistical methods in order to do that. And first of all, okay, hey, now his chat, he says the number is future projected deaths. He's misrepresented it. And that's not true. That is not what the Lancet said. But 
Oh, and, and Alberto Comín says, America bad. Well, this would be trying to make the case for America good on hard mode right about now. I mean, but, see, an extrapolation is necessarily what they're working with. There are proven statistical methods to do this. There are people who are experts in extrapolating mortality in situations like this. Though nobody's really seen a situation quite like this, not in a very long time, where an entire densely populated area is being wiped off the map. Lance, I think for the Bernie Sanders thing was they had a bunch of um, amateur economists or whatever, or some dipshits that didn't know how to do any kind of real data analysis at all, um, came in and they gave an estimation for how much money single payer health care would save in the United States. Well, which, okay, the, let's just remember that it's not even controversial that single payer costs less money than this system. <laughs> this system is the most expensive in the world pay most expensive per capita and gets the worst outcomes in the, in the entire industrialized world. Lay, like, I mean, so he's pissed off that, uh, yeah, I'm, and I'm sure it's amateur economists uh, that a peer of your journal like The Lancet would be relying on. And never mind that I think pretty much all economists are fucking amateurs, although maybe what he means is that if they're not, like, uh, worshippers of von Mises, they're amateurs. And I think the way that they arrived at that estimate was they took how much money was spent on administration costs for Social Security. No, no, for, I'm sorry, for Medicare. And they compared that to how much money was spent um, administratively versus how much was spent on health care for ordinary private insurance. Yeah, and the thing is that the majority of the expenditure on private health insurance is administrative because the entire system is dedicated to denying claims. And I think for Medicare, the, it's like 2 to 3% is spent on administrative costs. And for ordinary insurance, I think it's like 15 to 20% is spent on administrative costs. And they basically said, well, look, if we had single payer for the entire country, bam, look how much money we'd save. We're wasting Well, money. yeah, uh, obviously, because the, the thing about Medicare is that it doesn't have those administrative costs because most of those administrative costs are about profit maximization and all sorts of other bullshit. This, I mean, he does... Ugh like 15 to 20 percent it's just a drag on the economy it's just being wasted on healthcare administration but the massive huge terrible issue with that is that one the minor point is a lot of medicare administrative costs are kind of subsumed with social security you're automatically enrolled they do identity tracking and all that but two, it will yeah exactly which is exactly how a single-payer health system would work two, the huge one was healthcare consumption of old people is massive old people can yeah yeah exactly and the administrative and on a population whose health care consumption, I hate that particular terminology, is unusually high. Oh, thank you. Is unusually high. And the administrative costs are that low. That actually makes the case even more strongly. consume so much health care. So obviously, a guy who's consuming health care at a massive rate is paying, percentage-wise, much less for administrative costs than he would for health care treatment, because the treatment is going to be so much more expensive, right? Like if you... Well, also, it's just quite a bit less... Like, what's what the fuck is your point? Look at somebody like me, 100% or 95% of all the money I've spent in my life on health care has been spent on administrative costs. I'm yeah, because you're paying into a private system where the main thing that they're doing is finding ways to avoid paying your claims. That's what that administrative cost is. So, yeah, you're paying, you are consuming way less health care, to use this bullshit terminology, and you're still getting, you're still paying out the ass on completely unnecessarily duplicative worthless administration costs that only exist in order to screw you over compared to somebody who is somebody who say 70 80 has serious health problems goes to sees a lot of doctors and the administrative costs are lower in absolute terms because the the entire system is not set up based on all this sort of enroll you know all of the bullshit that private insurance companies do, but 